The Crowded Home Nasruddin was talking to his neighbor one day, and the neighbor lamented, I'm really having trouble accommodating my family in our small house. It's me, my wife, my three kids, and my mother-in-law, all sharing the same cottage. Mullah Nasruddin, you are a wise man. Do you have any advice for me? Yes, replied Nasruddin. Do you have any hens in your yard? I have ten, the man replied. Put them in the house, said Nasruddin. But Mullah, the man remarked, our house is already cramped as it is. Just try it, replied Nasruddin. The man, desperate to find a solution to his pacing woes, followed Nasruddin's advice and paid him another visit the next day. Mullah, he said, things are even worse now. With the hens in the house, we are even more pressed for space. Mullah paid no heed. He just smiled and asked, Do you have any cows? The man looked puzzled, but replied, Yes, I have two. Put them in the house with the hens, said Mullah with a straight face. The next day the neighbor came lamenting and crying. His problem had become worse. However, Mullah looked at him with a smile and said, I know you have a donkey too. Put it along with the other animals. The man bemoaned and objected, but Nasruddin convinced him to do it. The next day the man, now looking more distressed than ever, came up to Nasruddin and said, Now my home is even more crowded. Between my family, the hens, the cows, and that donkey of mine, there is barely any room to move. Well then, said Nasruddin, do you have any other animal in your yard? Yes, the man replied. We have a goat. Okay, said Nasruddin, put the goat in your house too. The man once again raised a fuss and seemed anything but eager to follow Nasruddin's advice. But Nasruddin once again convinced him to put yet another animal in the house. The next day, the man, now angry and exasperated, came up to Nasruddin and exclaimed, My family is really upset now. Everyone is at my throat, complaining about the lack of space. Your plan is making us miserable. Okay, Nasruddin replied. Now, put back all the animals outside. So the man followed his advice. And the next day he dropped by Nasruddin and remarked, Mullah, your plan has worked like a charm. With all the animals out, my house is so spacious that none of us can help but be happy and contented. I can do nothing but thank you profusely with all my heart. Mullah said nothing but smiled.